Hi. In this video, we'll be learning about HTML tables. Now, tables are a great way for us to display information in a grid on our web pages. And we see tables all the time on the internet. We see them on websites like ESPN to display sports rankings. We see them on websites like Wikipedia. Here we have a table of all the national birds in the world. So tables can be a really useful tool for us to display information on our web pages. Now before we start building tables on our web pages, we need to go over some table terminology. So here we have a table from Billboard.com that shows some of the top summer songs of all time. Now this entire thing is the table. This is what's referred to as the table, the entire grid of information. Within the table, we have several table rows. So every single one of these is a table row. Now within the table rows, within the first table row, we have table headers. And the table headers describe what information is in each column. So here we have rank in the first column, the title of the song, the artist of the song, and in the last column we have which year that this song hit its peak in the Billboard rankings. So these are all table headers. And then below the table headers, we have the actual table data. So table data refers to the information inside each of these cells. So each row in the table has several pieces of table data that describe the actual information in the table. So to build these tables in HTML, we're going to need a tag for each one of these terms. So first we'll have the table tag, and the table tag is the container for all of the table data. Now inside the table tag, we will have a TR tag, which stands for table row. So a table will have a TR tag for each row in the table. Now inside the first table row, we'll have a TH tag for table header. So each one of these is a single TH tag, a single table header element. And below the table headers, we will have the actual table data. So table data will refer to the actual information inside each cell of the table. So these are the tags we're going to use to build our tables in HTML. Let's look at an example of this. So first off, we'll need the table opening tag and the table closing tag. And the table tag will contain all the information for the table. So inside here, let's put in a TR tag for our first row and we'll put in another TR tag for our second row. The first one will hold all the information for the first row, second one will hold all the information for the second row. Now in the first row, we usually put TH tags. The first row usually contains headers, and for headers we use the TH tag. So this is an actual table data, this is labeling the data. This is saying the first column will have the name and the second column will have the points. In the second row, and every future row, will have the actual data, and for the data we'll use TD tags. So in this row, the name is Carol, and Carol has scored 32 points. Those are each pieces of data in the table. And the result of this looks like that. We see in the first row we have name and points, and those are headers. And in the next rows we have the actual table data. Carol has scored 32 points. Now this looks nice, but a lot of times we want an actual border around the table. So to add a border, all we have to do is add a border attribute to the table tag. The border attribute specifies how thick the table border should be in pixels. And the default is 0, so if we want a border, we need to set it to 1. We can actually increase it to 5 to get a big thick border around the edge of the table. We can set it back to 0 to get rid of the border, um, but usually we'll be going with a border of 1. Let's see this in the editor. So in this program, we're going to create a simple web page that creates an address book to store our friend's information, things like name, phone number, and email address. So first thing we need to do is head over to the table section, and this is where we have all of our table tags. So first thing we need is our table tag. This will hold all the information for our table. And now inside that table, I want several rows, and each row will have its own data. So to add a table row, I use the TR tag. I can drag that out. What's nice is you can actually use this plus sign to automatically add more table rows. So let's add another one, add another one. You can use minus to get rid of a row. Let's start off with three rows. Now the first row should hold the table headers. It should say what each column represents. For table headers, we use the TH tag for table header. So let's pull out a table header. Let's say the first column of my address book will hold my friend's name. The next column will hold their phone number and then the next column will hold their email address. Let's see what that looks like. Awesome, so we got our headers. Now it's time to add the table data. So for table data, we'll use TD. So in this first row, let's put all of the data for our first friend. So let's say the friend's name is Carol. K 
Carol's phone number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then let's drag out another table data for the email address, carol at codehs.com. Boom, we got our first row of data in our table. Let's add another friend, table data for Jenny. Jenny's phone number is 8675309, e a put a little comma there, a little hyphen, and see what that looks like. Nice. One more for Jenny's email address. We'll do Jenny at yahoo.com. Awesome. We're building up our address book. Now, one thing is I would like some structure here. I'd like to see, you know, a border around each cell. So to do that, we just add the border attribute to the table. So I'm going to go into code view, add the border attribute and set it to one. And there we go. And now I have a nice address book that stores the contact information for my friends. And that is how we can add tables to our web pages. Now it's your turn.